One of my subscribers has asked me if I can do a video on how to remove the front cover of a PC case. In particular, I believe it was either that one or that one. I'm not sure which. I might be wrong. It might be a completely different one. So what I thought I would do is show you four PC cases and how to remove not just the front cover, but all the covers, all the outside covers. So the ones on the side, ones on the back, ones on the top if possible, and the ones on the front if possible. I do believe all four of these should be able to be removed, as far as I can remember. So I'm going to quickly tell you which ones they are. So this is the, this is the Hellcrack HC195, and this is the Hellcrack HCS195 version 2. And this one is the Sahara P35, and this one, which I've got upside down, is Sahara Gaming H600. I will stick links in the video description to the websites where you can buy these from and also to Amazon in case you want to buy it from Amazon and they will be affiliated links. So with that, if you find this video interesting and it's something you like to watch, let me know in the comments please and I will try and make some more videos. Also, see that big box over there, this one over here? It's another computer case from another big company. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. So look out for that. And also, when I do do the video on that one, I will be doing probably two parts. I will be doing an unboxing, installation of a basic PC, just how easy it is to manoeuvre things about, you know, sort out the cabling, things like that. And the second video, I will be doing an upgrade video of a brand new PC build using that case, providing I like that case. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You need to subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. So with that, we'll start with this one first. I'm going to completely take all the side panels off and I'm going to show you how easy it is or how hard it is to remove the front cover of this little baby. Right, so we're going to start with the Hellcrack HC195 and tools you might need. I'm not saying you do need these tools, but they might come in handy. So, long nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and maybe even a flathead. Right, let's start with the side panels. Oh, just lost my label. So, unscrew the back. Now I've only done these up hand tight, don't really need to do them up tight anyway. Unless you're trying to stop people going in now. So back panel off, front panel, now it's a little bit different on this one. Four screws there, again they're only hand tight. Try and keep all my screws together for each case. It should just pull off, there you go. Now the front panel, so we've got the back panel off. Yeah, see that? Glass panels off. Now the removal of the front. Now there are little grommet things there. You need to squeeze them together and then push forward. So this has one, one up there, one there, and there should be another one down there somewhere. But you don't need to get to all of them. If you just get to the maybe the top one up there, squeeze it together and push out. As you can see, it started opening up already, and then just pull it off. Yeah, very easy. And that is the removal of the front. And that was the HC195, the HC195 version 2. This little baby here. Again, it's the same principle. It should be on your hand tight, which it is. Put that up in there. So that's the back panel off. Front exactly the same as the other one. Again, the same principle as the last one. Squeeze these together. That one, just pop it in a little bit. Get that. Give it a little pull, and job done. So Hara Gaming, this is the P35. I do need a screwdriver for this one that and that is because they're the wrong screws but as long as it does the job 
back panel off. Okay. Front panel next. Again, same principle, these little squeezy things. Now this has one, two, three, four. So if you can't get it, you might need a screwdriver or you might need the long nose pliers. But we're going to try it without. So squeeze them together and push. So there's a little gap there, but not enough. Go to the next one a bit lower. No, I'm going to need a bit more, a bit more leeway. Nope. I might need more screwdrivers for this one, my flathead. So we will see. It's up there. So squeeze and push. Get me flathead. Sorry if you can't see. Yeah, I've got my screwdriver behind it. So give it a little wiggle. There you go. Job done. And pull. Now you've got attached cables to this one. So be a little bit careful because you'll have to feed them through to take it right off. And voila, there you go. Now we've got to do is feed these cables back out and job done. So that is the Sahara P35, I'm going to move it out of the way. So this is a little bit different to the others. This is the Sahara Gaming H600 and basically it's the same principle. So undo that, that, move the back cover, there you go, back cover off, front cover, and this one slides off, unlike the others. Now the front cover it is basically the same principle, you squeeze the little grommets together and then push out, so squeeze and push. And there you go. Give it a little wiggle. Oh, it's been a bit of a pain this one. But it will go. It might need squeezing at this end as well. So try it down the bottom. Yeah, I think we've got it. Yep. It's this little top. It's this top right. This one here. Not coming off. Where is it? Where is it? It is there. Right, with me little pliers. There they are. Squeeze it. There you go. Job done. And voila. There you go. Now that is basically four PCs or four PC cases that undo basically all the same. One was a little bit tough, which was the last one. And to put them back together, you just do everything in reverse.
And that, my friends, is how you remove the side and front panels of most PC cases. Not all of them are that easy, but most of them are pretty easy to do. So with that, if you found this video informative or helpful in any way whatsoever, or even entertaining, let me know by subscribing, giving me the thumbs up, and clicking on the bell to get notified. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-da!